ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mr. Sly's Neighborhood. I would like to welcome you to my artist den and come this way. Hello. My name is Mr. Sly and this is my neighborhood. I would like to welcome you to my show called Mr. Sly's Neighborhood. On this show, you can call me Sly the Artist. I started out as an editor at BCAT Television Channel 27, and now I'm in Vallejo making television. I would like to really give you a new development in Vallejo, the development being the hub. Now, I ask you to come with me on this journey as we showcase artists in the neighborhood. Now, we're gonna go into the neighborhood on the street of Marin. Now, can you tell the people out there how you guys started into knitting? Um. I've been knitting for almost exactly 10 years. My mom taught me totally by surprise. Um, she bought me a book about how to knit, and she knit a little bit, not and she must have read my mind and thought, I think I'd like to try knitting. And so she bought me the book, and we sat there all day, and she taught me how to knit. I've been knitting ever since. Now, is there any certain techniques you use when you do your knitting? Um, the way she taught me is, um, it's English knitting. There's a couple different ways. The thing about knitting is that um, it relies a lot on sense memory. Once your fingers kind of learn how to do it, it's hard to uh, do it another way. Now, uh, is there anything you've uh, knitted before you can uh, you can show us? I have a bunch of hats in the shop. Um, if you want to see them, I'll show you. So these are the hats I have in the shop right now. I mean, the first ones I made for the shop are these, um, which I love because I love knitting them. Um, so they're a lot of fun and they don't take a lot of time and they kind of look good on everybody, even me. And they're, they're just fun. Um, I try to work with only 100% wool, if at all possible. I am particular about the kind of yarn I use. So these are really plain. Um, these are also very plain. These are made out of the Madeline Tosh sock yarn, which knitters will say, ooh, ah, because it's really, really nice yarn. And they look kind of kind of silly off the head, but they're slouchy and they look really cool. And I've actually sold two of these in other colors because they just look really, really good on me. This one I knit <laughs> earlier in the fall, and it's got skulls on it, and this one's really cool. This one's really, really big and slouchy. It's like, hella big. <laughs> But, you know, people like the skulls, other skull hats. The first one I made got sold pretty much right away. Um, this, yeah, this is, these are really fun. I have one like this, and I have one in blue with tassels. A little less girly, but, you know, I like girly. I can pretty much make anything anybody wants in any color. Now tell the people out there where the, uh, they can find the website. Uh telephone number? The best way to get a hold of me is on Facebook. I'm Kate Schmidt on Facebook. The, honestly, the best way to get a hold of me is, you know, come to the hub and talk to me in person. You can show me what you want and we can look at patterns together. Or, yeah. Come to the hub. That's the best way. And I can do whatever you want.
I ask you to come with me on this journey as we showcase artists in the neighborhood. happened it just exploded and it's just ready to make a big catastrophe out of everything it's more it's lively it's exciting to use colors to explain that art all right this is another art piece that i did and actually i started this in art school way back when in the late, uh, 1970s but uh it's pastels it's very colorful You know, the colors are real good, it's just the, the actual situation of the came out pretty well. This piece right here is uh, actually for the Empress. So a bunch of um, Vallejo, lovely Vallejo people. We got together at the Wednesday market. We had pe pieces left over from, from the hub, um, earthquake party we did here. And we're doing this piece for the Empress. So all the pieces were then set down at the Wednesday market with all lovely Vallejo people volunteers. Uh, this is some grout, and so I'm just kind of carefully <laughs> trying to shove it in between the holes, fill it all in. Now after you put the grout in there, what's the next step? And I'm going to take a little bit of water, kind of go over it a little bit, kind of see like um, there's that one there, and then I'm going to let it sit for, eh, I don't know, 40 minutes to an hour, kind of check it. All this stuff came from houses in Vallejo. I got damaged in the earthquake and we made art out of it. That and now nice. it'll kind of go to benefit a couple of our local theaters. Now what are these things over here? These uh, faces? Those are, are going to be Day of the Dead Skulls. So I'm going to be grouting those next. Those are actually for, to, for sale in the hub. Um, so I have um, mosaics in the window. So actually I'm going to be doing these yeah. in a charcoal. And that is nice. Now this is a finished product? Yeah, well it will probably have a stem on the bottom too, but I usually do them in two pieces. Wasn't that a great and pleasant show? I thank you for being my television man. And here on the Mr. Slide neighborhood, we tend to showcase artists and what they do. I am just an artist of television, and it has always been a dream of mine to showcase artists such as yourself and other artists in the neighborhood. 
My name is Mr. Sly, and I thank you for watching my show. And I ask you to come back and join me for another episode of Mr. Sly's Day. I thank you for being my television neighbor, and please come back again. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a good feeling to feel happy inside. And we'll have a brand new day. And we'll have new things to say. And I'll slice neighbor till it is good. And I'll see you next time when things are clear. And we'll have new things to discuss and hear. And I thank you for being my television neighbor. Have a good one.